Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sondu Kavio. In my previous tutorial, I shared how to buy a domain name and hosting on Namecheap. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can install WordPress on your Namecheap domain and hosting so you can go ahead and build your website. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, so there are two ways to do this. The first method is to visit your domain name. That's the domain name you're registered along with your hosting. And then put forward slash cpanel at the end. This is the domain I registered in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and visit it. Now, so just visit your domain name dot com dot net dot website whatever it is for slash cpanel now if you've purchased your domain and hosting you must have received uh, some email from Namecheap what you want to do is to find the email with your hosting account details you can see you see the subject your hosting account details for and then it will show you your domain name open that email address and scroll down and you see where it says your cpanel details copy your cpanel username and then put here where it says username copy your cpanel password and then put here and then you can log in okay so that's one way to access cpanel i'm going to show you a second method just in case you can find this email because there are situations that uh, you may not be able to find the email the other option is to log into your cpanel through namecheap so just go to namecheap and then do sign in put your username put your password and then log in when login is going to take you straight to your cpanel dashboard so sorry it's going to take you to your namecheap dashboard rather and from your namecheap dashboard you can log in straight to your cpanel so this is the domain uh, and the hosting account I purchased in the previous tutorial so I'm going to to log in from here just go to look at the look at the domain you want to log into and install WordPress on and then come to here where we have this icon here and you see just over to it and then you see this option and then you see we say see panel just click on go to cpanel that is going to log you straight into give it a moment it's going to log you straight into cpanel with access for username or password so those are basically the two ways to log into cpanel on namecheap now once you're in cpanel what you want to do uh, is scroll down a bit as you can see cpanel has a whole lot of features uh, cpanel is basically a control panel that makes it easy for webmasters and site owners to manage their website and some features uh, that came along with their hosting plan i have a, a playlist dedicated to cpanel and its features such as subdomain creating subdomain creating customized email accounts such as info at your website.com and so on and so forth i have a tutorial on how to use file manager so check out uh, my playlist on cpanel so you can learn how to use cpanel features subdomain redirects and so on so for this we want to install wordpress so what you're going to do is just to scroll down to the last part of cpanel just scroll down to the bottom you're going to see where it says software close apps installer and then you're going to see wordpress right there now that's one way if you don't see it here just scroll back up over here you see softaculous apps installer just click on it and then you see wordpress in the first option and then you install or you can just do use the find here and then just find wordpress okay in some cases you may not see this but if, if this doesn't show you wordpress you can search for softaculous which is the app used installing wordpress just search for soft Ta, sorry, Softaculous 
and then you see subtitles apps and so on and you see wordpress so either you just click directly on wordpress you can install wordpress or you click on subtitles apps installer and then you still see wordpress you click on it but let's just click on wordpress since it's looking at us right there we're going to click on wordpress and then i'm going to show you how to install wordpress okay so it's going to open this page that shows you the information about wordpress so you just what you want to do is to click on this install now here yeah? so just click on install now and then it's going to leave the load display so this is going to it says choose the version you want to install this is going to select the latest version of wordpress and then choose installation url so you can leave this as it is and then make sure that yeah there's nothing here if you if there's anything here maybe like directory or whatever it means wordpress is going to be installed on your website .com .net .org website forward slash directory or forward slash whatever it is here so make sure there is nothing in here so that wordpress will be installed on your main domain itself and not on any other directory so make sure there's nothing here and then scroll down here you can put your site name maybe my website but the good thing is that whatever information you're entering here in the site name and site description you can always change inside wordpress pardon me my website it could be welcome okay let me use welcome to my test site and then you can scroll down for admin username make sure you don't leave it at admin because this is how uh hackers um hackers know that the default is always admin so they will first of all attempt to log into your site with this so for this i'm just going to change this to sunday cafe i'll use something uh more secure use any other thing but admin for password i'm just going to call this i'm just going to call this password that this is basically because it's uh just for this tutorial I'm, I'm, i don't intend to keep this side this is just for the tutorial so for you make sure you put a strong password push uh use special characters in your password and then here yeah, admin email make sure you put your active email address this is very important because this is where wordpress will be sending you notifications regarding your account and if, if you forget your uh, wordpress username uh, or password you can use your admin email to reset so make sure you put, you clean out whatever is in here and put your valid and active email address so after that just scroll down ignore every other option you see forget this plugins uh suggestions you can always do all this within wordpress so don't click any of these things except you want to use them but i normally would advise that you install any team or plugin through wordpress and then there's this option here that says email in installation details to uh, if you put any email address here you just send details of this installation to that email this is not compulsory but if you want to get uh details of this installation like your username and all that you will just email this so in some cases you may just want to put that so after this just go back up and confirm that everything here is correct and normally we'll just go back up to check again make sure you don't use password i'm using this because this is a let's say it uh, for this tutorial make sure you use something secured so just confirm that everything is correct and then the next thing you want to do is to click install it takes uh, less than 10 seconds to install wordpress uh, as you see okay same congratulations the software was installed so i'm just going to quickly uh, open this up and then you're going to see that wordpress has been installed so i'm going to open this on a new tab so you're going to see that wordpress has been installed now that wordpress has been installed you can log in now to log in to any wordpress website you're going to visit your domain your, your website address as your domain.com.net.website whatever it is for slash wp hyphen admin so you just put that that's the default url to log into wordpress but if you forget that just put four slash i notice that if you put four slash login it still logs you in by but the official documentation says four slash wp hyphen admin i've been using this and then it still logs in so 
whichever you remember you can use so the next thing you want to put the username we had said mine was shown to kafia i think my password was password so just put that and it will log you in to your wordpress website so that's simply how to install wordpress on namecheap thank you for watching and if you find this tutorial help helpful please like it comment share and most importantly help me grow my youtube channel by subscribing and i'm going to do other series on how to use wordpress to build websites so remember uh, to subscribe and then click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new videos thank you for watching